Hey, what's up, YouTube? Maintain 364. Glory be to Yah for another day of life, grace, and mercy. In the name of his only begotten son, Yeshua, HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. I hope everyone's doing well today. Every day that you walk in fellowship, that you try to walk in fellowship with the Most High, and His only begotten Son, you will come across opposition. And opposition comes in many forms. Spiritually, through your circumstances, through people in your life, doesn't matter. Opposition will try to get you to not fulfill the Lord's will. You know what the Lord's will is. If you have a relationship with the Most High, if you pray, the Lord will reveal things to you. Other people don't know what you're going through, what you have going, what your relationship is with God. Only you and the Most High know that. So don't let anybody tell you your perspective on God. God created you, an individual. So whatever it is that you feel that the Most High has asked you to do, don't waver. So I'm going to read from ne Nehemiah <clears throat> chapter 4. Opposition to the work. Nehemiah chapter 4. Now, when Sanballat heard that we were building the wall, he was he was angry and greatly enraged. And he jeered at the Jews. And he said in the presence of his brothers and of the army of Samaria, what are these feeble Jews doing? Will they restore it for themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they finish up in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the, the heaps of rubbish and burn ones at that? Tobiah, the Ammonite, was beside him. And he said, Yes, what they are building, if a fox goes up on it, he will break down their stone wall. Hear, O our God, for we are despised. Turn back their taunt on their own heads and give them up to be plundered in a land where they are captives. Do not cover their guilt and let not their sin be blotted out from your sight, for they have provoked you to anger in the presence of the builders. So we built the wall. And all the wall was joined together to half its height, for the people had a mind to work. But when Sanballat and Tobiah and the Arabs and the Ammonites and the Ashadites heard that the repairing of the wall of Jerusalem was going forward, and that the breaches were beginning to be closed, they were very angry. And they all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem and to cause confusion in it. And we prayed to our God and set a guard as a protection against them day and night. In Judah, it was said, the strength of those who bear the, bit, the burdens is failing. There is too much rubble. By ourselves, we will not be able to rebuild the wall. And our enemies said, they will not know or see till we come among them and kill them and stop the work. At the time, the Jews who lived near them came from all directions and said to us 10 times, you must return to us. So in the lowest parts of the space behind the wall, in open places, I stationed the people by their, their clans with their swords, their spears, and their bows. And I looked and arose and said to the nobles and to the officials and to the rest of the people, do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome and fight for your brothers, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. Most high for the most high. I felt like I had to share this because you, you're always going to come across opposition, no matter who you are, what color, what race. It's, we, we fight up against spiritual forces and principalities that want to keep us from God and being in fellowship with God. When we don't move in fellowship with God, and his only begotten son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, we fall out of protection and we're open, we create openings for us to be attacked. And their primary goal is to, to stop us and for us to kill us. 
not just physically, but spiritually. They separate us from God. The God is of life. And sin is death. Continuing to sin, we're just on the path to death. We gotta fight to do what is right. And that's not an easy task. There's things that we may want in life. There be opportunities to get it, but it might not be the right way. And yet we make sacrifices for those things. And when we tend to do that, become weak. That is the opposition weakening us. Influence. I pray everyone has a good day. Lord may strengthen your armor and faith to grant you discernment to know what to do and what not to do and to complete his task that he has given you in this life and Yeshua HaMashiach Jesus Christ's name I pray amen